In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the appointment booking calendar Shopify app. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead to the link in the description, click that and it will open up this page here. And once you get to this page, you can go ahead and click install. After you've clicked install, it should open up your Shopify store and there should be a button here that says install. So just click that. And now it should be ready on your store. Okay, so the very first thing we want to go ahead and do is actually ensure that the app is enabled in our store. So we can go ahead and click this enable button here and then click go to theme editor. And then inside of the theme editor, we want to go ahead to the left hand side and it should automatically turn it on here. If not, search for calendar and then just turn it on and then go ahead and save it. And that should be good to go. So we can go back over to here and they'll just verify that it's installed. And if it is, they'll take you to this page. So they have two different plans here, the pro one and the free one. This one comes with a seven day free trial. It's going to be way better. Um, you've got so many more features. So I'd recommend going for this one. I'm just going to click continue and I'm going to go ahead and authorize this payment on my Shopify store. So just click approve and it will tell you when you're going to get charged. So you can cancel the trial if you'd like to. Okay, so now that it's installed in our store, we're going to go through a little bit of onboarding. First of all, what language is your store? Just put your language in. What's your time zone? Do you want AM, PM or military time? It's up to you. When does your week start? Select the date. And what kind of services do you need to set up? So you've got appointments that last from 15 minutes to a few hours, less than 24 hour bookings. A bundle of appointments that last 15 minutes to a few hours. And it tells you who it's recommended for as well. Rental slash booking appointments that last for two days. So this is stuff like if you're renting out, yeah, renting out Airbnbs, that kind of thing. And then this one here is um, events where you can only pick the date, not the time slot. Now I'd recommend starting with this one here, but read through them and see which one is the best for you. Click continue. And then the price of your appointment. So you can go ahead and change if you want to. Do you want it to be free? Or do you want it to be paid on Shopify? As in you'll take the payment via Shopify or paid but not on Shopify and you'll have to get Stripe or something. You'll probably want to use one of these two and press next. Now it's going to ask you if you have created a product for your booking. If you've not done that, then press no. If you have, leave us yes. Down here, you can go ahead and select the price you want your booking to be. If you've pressed no, that is. So just select that here and it's going to create a product. And as it says, it's going to be in a default store currency. So press continue. And here we're going to go ahead and set up the days we're available to work. So we've got specific weekdays or we can say date ranges. It's really up to you. You can also, you know, add specific days, specific times, just customize it to your needs. Next up, we can do the meeting duration. So we can select it here or we can do um, custom. If we just click in here, we can say whatever we want to just like that and then we can go ahead and press continue next up is going to ask you how many people can you deal with per time slot and this means is it a solo booking or is it a group booking so just select that and then go ahead and click create service so now that we've done all of that we can go ahead and just view it on our site and this should send you to the appointment page you can see here they've created you the appointment you can also go ahead and view that in products if you want to change some of it now, to go ahead and actually remove the branding, if you've done all of these things here, you can go ahead and press verify now, and they will go ahead and remove the branding from the widget. And you can just talk to them and they'll do that for you. Now, something we can also do is go ahead and look at our booking we've got here or the service we have. We can go ahead and press edit. And from here, we can go through and edit some different things about it. So we can edit which the product is, if it requires to be paid, the colors you want. And if you change the colors here, it's going to go ahead and change them on this side here as you do it. You've also got things like your title and you also have things like your meeting. And to go ahead and change your meeting location, you're going to want to go ahead and link Zoom or whatever you use. So you can go ahead and click here and you can go ahead and you can connect it up here now to do that you're going to have to upgrade again to one of the other plans 
but then you can automatically create a zoom link every time somebody creates a booking so it saves you having to manually do it and it means you'll automatically send them uh, all the different details about it then the rest down here is how we kind of looked at before all of those features are pretty similar you've got your you just got a bit more specific and more advanced details over here we have what is required so you can ask them for some information you can add some questions here so maybe you want to qualify if they're a good person for you to have a call with add some questions here so you can go through those you can add some email reminders so that they um, show up to the call you can add it like one hour before that kind of thing you can add booking confirmations all that kind of stuff even upsells if you'd like to but again you're gonna have to pay for the paid one here and it's a little bit annoying every time you want to change something it's going to take you to that pop-up you can also add an image here um, up here so that's something worth knowing if you press that off you can go ahead and add a logo to it now you can go ahead over to here and this is the booking section it's going to show you all of your bookings that you have it will show you your past ones cancelled ones uh, deposits so people who have put a deposit for a call abandoned and calendar so you've got all of your stuff in one place you can also go ahead here and add a manual booking you can select the service and you can select the date for it so if you want to go ahead and manually do that now something else we can do is go over to team and over here we can add a team member so if you've got some staff or something like that you can add a team member here simple just put their email in and add them up again you're gonna have to upgrade your plan to do this over here we've got settings so there's a few different settings here like your availability um, you know you can add calendar branding if you'd like to again we can press the verify thing we've even got some sms settings here in case you want to go ahead and actually send them sms appointment updates and this is a really good way to ensure that people do show up and you can maybe even have a, a confirm thing to make sure they confirm their slot next up we've got translation so you can put it in different languages or you can just slightly change the wording to fit your brand and the feel of your brand a little bit more the same goes for the emails the sms and also this this bit here up the top right you'll notice there's a button here you can go ahead and enable multi-language on it so it's pretty useful again here's the pricing plans you can have a look at those and then they also have some partners and different apps that you can actually integrate with that they recommend using so these are pretty cool so that's basically how you use the calendar booking app on shopify if you enjoyed this video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below the video helped you out so other people can see the same video get the same advice thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video